So this is really, this is very, very cool. Um, we were able to uh, solicit and receive a $250,000 private gift almost two years ago now for the specific purpose of uh, commissioning a sculpture of Abraham Lincoln for our campus. The, the goal of that is to beautify the campus building. Of course, it's a very young campus. We don't have a lot of, a lot of art on campus. But the goal is also to, um, to bring us closer to the Lincoln story in Springfield, because we have the Lincoln Presidential Library, the Abraham Lincoln Association, and so on. And, uh, and, and to try to educate students about Abraham Lincoln. So we were successful in that, in that solicitation. And uh, we commissioned George Lundeen, who is a world famous sculptor, who happened to get his Masters in Fine Arts in Urbana. And um, if you've ever been to an Illini football game, you have seen his work because he did the Red Grange sculpture uh, and many, many other sculptures. He did the Red Grange sculpture, sculpture right there at the entrance to the stadium. So um, about a year and a half ago or so, we put together a group of faculty who had expertise in the topic. And it was a combination of historians, including Michael Billingham <coughs> and Holly Kent from history, and artists, including uh, Mike Miller and Shane Harris, from our art department. And uh, we brought George Lundin to campus and they brainstormed what, uh, what we want and, and what everybody would agree would, would be a great sculpture. One of the challenges of doing a Lincoln sculpture is that he's been done. In fact, he's been done 250 times just in Illinois. And uh, no great sculptor wants to duplicate what someone else has done. And, and, and by the way, this is representational art. So that means it looks exactly like Abraham Lincoln. It's not a modern thing that you want to want to It looks exactly like it. So um, last Saturday, I, uh, I saw the final version of the sculpture, which is six feet four. I shouldn't say final. It's clay. It was clay when I saw it last Saturday. And six feet four, uh, a young Abraham Lincoln, when he was working as a lawyer here in Springfield, so no beard. It's just spectacular. And um, after I left the studio last Saturday morning, they cut Abe up into pieces and sent him over to the foundry where he will become bronze. And there's a very complicated procedure where they, they you know, we all sort of, at least I had it in my mind that somehow or other they make this huge mold and then they pour this, this bronze sculpture all in one piece and that's not what happens. They cut off his head, they cut off his arms, they cut off, and they, they do it in pieces. And then the bronze pieces come back to the studio and then they put them all back together and they solder them together, I guess, and shine off the seams. And Anyway, um, early May, uh, Mr. Lundin is delivering the sculpture to the campus. And uh, we will have a, uh, an installation and the very next day we will have a, an unveiling. He has advised me that we better not try to keep it covered up for more than a day because you all will not put up with that. <laughs> so um, we plan to have the installation and I'm not going to announce the date right now because I'm waiting to hear from George today about the confirmation, but it will be while you're still here. I think it's going to be in finals week. So it'll be a great addition and that's what that little plaza is, by the way, that right. you've all seen. So um, he, he's right in the middle at ground level, so you'll be able to walk right up to him and have a conversation with him and get your picture taken with the colony behind. And then there are four stone ben benches that sit around the edges. So it'll be, it'll be really nice, really nice. So it'll be fun to see whether there's some new tradition that, that you all create that has to do with a Lincoln. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah, that'll be fun.